Earth's atmosphere. Yeah. Which was, in fact, uh, uh, not the right chemical structure for them to uh, uh, cope with. So it wasn't brought down intentionally, because there's, there's been rumours that it was either radar or brought down intentionally. No, I understand it was actually because the the uh, the being who was at its helm uh, was sick. Right, OK. It was so, sick sickness. So did that, because there's also um, other stories that go on to say that they actually retrieved the bodies of these... Um, ETs and you know and they were taken obviously to uh, an air force base or whatever it was it was all covered up by saying it was a, an air balloon um, a weather balloon um, and there's also other rumours that say that actually quite a lot of our technology that we have today was re- reverse engineered from those those ships uh, yes in, in part yes um, I understand that there are there are also other uh, situations, not straying from this point, but just simply adding to it, that actually a piano was first uh, uh, created from one that was actually found. A piano? Yes. What do you, you mean? Uh, many, many hundreds of years ago. Oh, I uh, see. A keyboard uh, right. in, in that structure was actually found from a vessel which had uh, broken which had crashed and broken, you see. So they kind of learned the harmonics of, of the universe and tones and, and stuff like that, that to create music. That, that it was actually a structure that had already been built. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, and that they, it was actually found uh, during certain um, situations, yes. Yeah, because the, the, around, the, around the whole Roswell thing, there's also lots of, um, you know, suggestions that the, the government at that time went into some kind of uh, bargain saying that, you know, if you could give us loads of technology, then we will allow you to use our citizens um, and abduct them for your own kind of research or your own, I don't know, genome program. Yes. And, and lots of people were abducted, weren't they, in, in America? Yes, yes, that is true, and are still being abducted. Yeah. The point so, is, this was not a, a we'll allow you uh, they didn't actually have any choice okay. over the matter. And uh, the point is that uh, much of the film, uh, the film situation was fake. Right. Was not a truthful film. You understand. When you say not f- the film, what film do you mean? Sorry. I, I'm talking about film that was then issued and found afterward of these events was actually not truthful film. Oh, see? OK. Right. Oh, I mean, you mean the biopsies, do you mean? Yes, yes, yes. Right, it yes. Just, uh, structured to yeah. be that way, so that it would uh, then, it's part of the disinformation. Yes. To understand. Yes. So this is, by, this is by a species that we would call the greys on Earth. Well, one part of that you would call the greys, it, it isn't actually. The greys actually come in many different forms. Understand that there are some 36 different species of greys. Do, do they have an issue with their genome that they they actually need our DNA or they need our uh, do you see what I mean they need us to help them in not some way particularly, not particularly it's actually because they don't actually have a home planet right uh, it's destroyed okay so are they because there's also rumours as well and I hate to say the word rumour because obviously yes, I, yes. I can't really substantiate any of this it's, it's stuff you <laughs> research <laughs> Um, and some say that the greys were kind of almost like enslaved by the raptures, if you like, and they're almost like a, a, a robotic kind of race, really, in a way, in the way that they, they act. Well, my dear friend, there are others, as I say, there are other greys who are uh, completely different. Uh, some stand at some uh, seven feet and are as thin as a stick. Hmm. Yeah. Almost like what the film Close Encounters at the end, when those those aliens turned up. Ah, yes, but that's much. That's quite a distortion, friend. Mm. I'm saying though, uh, much much thinner than that, uh, like a pencil. Right. Uh, the thickness of a pencil, and uh, simply because the planet of which they are a part uh, was actually uh, had a completely different uh, structure of atmosphere and also different structure of uh, the, 
the the way in which uh, the, the the magnetism of their planet uh, worked. So it did not enable them to form thick bodies, but rather thin ones. Yeah, and it's incredible that they can survive in our atmosphere in in that way. Yes, and I understand, dear friend, that uh, many, in fact, have been cited as um, uh, particularly in desolate places or in uh, places and situations which have innocuous overtones, really, uh, tend to be places of, uh, that are, in a sense, remote or that not that many people actually go there or yeah. visit those places. Uh, that many live, I understand, in the ground. Yeah. in caves and that kind of thing. I've taken to those kinds of experiences, really, simply because uh, it's their safest place. It's part of the reason, too, why there are certain areas which appear to be off-limits to human beings. Hmm. I mean, m most information around this subject is very compartmentalised, and it seems that um, there's people at the very top of the very shadowy kind of uh, groups that know about this, but you get the feeling that but, you know, like even people in governments who may be running the show may not know the whole truth or may not know. The, yeah, do, I mean, did, would you agree with that? Of course not. Yes, quite yeah. so. Uh, but that's, of course, because they're elected. That's correct. Yeah, they're elected. Um, that would do, would he? <laughs> that's correct. But, I mean, there does seem to be a push um, this year anyway um, towards this disclosure, and there's a lot of people doing work on that. And. And. I mean, do you feel they're making headway on that? Do you see, I'm not making a prediction because I know you don't do that because you, you base yourself on facts, but do you see uh, from your biggest perspective that there could be some kind of dis disclosure in the near future? Well, my point is, my dear friend, if you have 60,000 people who see one event, you cannot simply explain it away as a, um, a previous satellite coming back through the Earth's atmosphere when it's actually five miles wide. Hmm. Uh, it simply is uh, ridiculous hmm. and for people who are right thinking to actually acknowledge that they have seen something even if it's one person there you are alone uh, looking at the night sky or maybe driving your motor vehicle and you happen to be uh, just uh, in an isolated stretch or whatever of road and that you see whatever object that you see is not something that's an illumination of the mind or manufactured purely and simply because usually they are situations that happen outside of your present mind, present a train of thought, your consciousness. So it means to say it's not an illumination which comes from fabrication. It's a fact. And that's exactly the same as what happens to you within daily life. If you see an orb or whatever, I'm not straying from the fact, really. I'm just merely using it as an illustration. So then, within this situation, this whole context, we can see most clearly that part of this needs to come from communication. It's very, very good that we see so many people on your side of life using the modern structures of media technology that then enable you, each and every one of you, with your love, with your fondness for openness and creativity and expansion, that you should use that in a fundamental way to create knowledge, to create pathways of illumination that otherwise you would simply not detect mm. or that would go by you. Uh, thankfully, dear friend, you are not living in the time of uh, 17, uh, 20 or 1723, when I was last upon the physical earth. At those such times, there were times of very limited excursion, very limited minds, and people of, uh, really wanted to keep it that way. Mm. So at this present time, friend, I have to say, what you have to really do is it's a struggle for you. It's a struggle for you to maintain that openness. But maintain it, you must. Yes. At all cost, you must. Yes. Yes. I mean, this kind of leads me on to yes. the British government um, at the moment are releasing um, a whole raft of um, documentation um, on UFO encounters, and they've just released a whole new batch as well. And 
it's you know it's quite interesting that they're doing this, but whenever they report it, they kind of put a very negative um, spin on it. You know, a very sceptical spin on it. Um, but in terms of what the British government are doing, is is amazing compared to what the Americans are doing. They're, they're very tight lipped on this subject, and I know I've read a lot of blogs by Americans, and they they, they envy um, the European people that their governments are actually releasing stuff, albeit that it's still slanted. With